us a little bit how, about how the media landscape has changed and how, you know, in the absence of a, a traditional linear uh, broadcast agreement, um, how, do you, how do you work without that versus OTT and other digital platforms, which you, you all touched on um, being so critical to the consumer experience, second, third screen? Well, it, it, listen, for us it's very challenging because the, like all the platforms, the OTT platforms and whatever are great. Um, the problem is for the, the leagues and, and the sports that aren't the mainstream, whatever, you still need to get yourself out in front of that casual fan. And, and so that becomes, I, I find that the, all the platforms are great and if you have the fan base supporting it, it it's the best but it's the combination of having to be out there on the linear television and still be visible to, you know, that person just flipping around the, uh, the, the TV and seeing what's on. And, you know, I, I just, I was telling someone this yesterday, I just bought a place in Florida and I haven't even figured out the cable and the everything yet, but I know channel 450 is ESPN. So, you know, that's where I kind of start. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, though that's what I'm talking about. You don't get that on, on the, digital platform um, where someone's going behind, you know, a paywall, TS, you know, has the TSN package or in the States, you know, an ESPN plus to, to see your sport. So it's, it's, it's managing the both because there's, there's pros and cons in, in both platforms and you need to be on both, both in my yeah. opinion. Yeah.